Hi guys, I'm doing a journal that I made flip through today. It's been a while since I've done one of these videos um, because I've been making all my Etsy books in bulk or streamlining my process. So I haven't done this type of video for a long time, but I thought that I would do one because I made myself a journal over the weekend. This is how it turned out. I'm pretty happy with it, but I'm most excited to show you the inside because it's a bit different to what I usually do. Anyway, I want to try and explain how I made the cover because it's so easy, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. So basically, this is fabric. It's fabric and card, the cover is, so it's soft cover. And all I did was I took a pillowcase and I started to trim it down so that I could back this beautiful fabric onto this card. This was actually a, a book, like a music book or a nurse, I don't know, I think it was like a nursery rhyme book cover or something. It was super sweet, so, so cute. I actually originally intended to have the image all showing because this pocket part wasn't going to be here, but it ended up getting kind of covered up, but it's still so sweet. So Renee actually sent me this. Thank you, Renee. Anyway, what I did was I was going to just cover the back side of the booklet with the fabric so that it was fabric on the outside and this cute nursery rhyme book on the inside. But when I started to trim down the pillowcase, I realized that it had this extra bit sewn, you know, where you tuck your pillow into the pillowcase. It had that. And I thought that I could use that to my advantage and make it a pocket. So that's what I've done. And all I ended up doing... All I ended up doing was attaching the, the card inside the pillowcase. If that makes sense, I hope that makes sense, but that's all I really did. And then once it was in there and it was, it was glued and attached on there, I just ended up folding over the edges and stitching some buttons on so that it was a bit neater on the edges and a bit tighter around the card itself. And then once I sewed in my pages, it really just made a nice big pocket in the back and in the front. So, so easy. It literally took me like five minutes to make the cover and um, you can fit a lot in here. I've got this in the back at the moment just because this is where the book, see? You can see that this was the book. <laughs> I hope this makes sense to you guys, but this was how the book was originally, the card piece. This is where the spine was, so it's a bit floppy there. For the moment, I'm going to probably maybe put something in the back here to give it the back support that it needs to sit straight, but for the moment it's fine. It's not going to come apart or anything like that, it's just a bit floppy. That's all I did for the cover. And then I just added an eyelet so that I could tie some fabric around it so that it would stay still. It's got four signatures and yeah. So on the inside, the reason I wanted to make this journal was because I had, I'm making my wedding guest book at the moment and I had, I had to take some pages out of it because it was so, so full. And I knew that I wasn't going to be able to add my own ephemera and photos without becoming overly full. So I had to take some out, which was really hard because I didn't want to take anything out of it. But I did, and then I decided to make a whole nother journal with it. Obviously, all of this was not from my guest book. That would have been ridiculous, but some of it is. And then I went and added a bunch of other stuff. And this is going to be, for me, a writing journal. So the idea was that if I collaged up the pages enough so that they looked pretty to me straight away, all I would need to work in this journal was a pen. And then I wouldn't have to carry around ephemera, I wouldn't have to carry around anything, anything at all. All I need is one pen and I can just go crazy writing in this book. Um, because I'm a very visual person, so with my journals, I like my pages to look pretty and be appealing to me. That's what makes me, keeps me interested in, in working in a journal. So that was important to me. Yeah, so ever since I started writing more in my journals because I used to just really collage mostly but I started writing more and the more I did it the more I wanted to do it and so now it's become something that I really feel the need to do like all the time like every little thing that I want to write I'm going to put into this book so 
to-do lists or shopping lists or journaling or whatever it is I'm gonna just put everything in here just write and go crazy so all I've done is just written my name on the front and I just did that straight away so that there was no time to hesitate about just writing and breaking the book in I just did it straight away and this was just um, some scrap paper I used a lot of scraps in this book and I also used a lot of vintage ephemera that I have been gifted and been saving and hoarding so there's some scraps of ledger paper in here and then there's bits of book pages that people have gifted me I think this one was from Renee thank you Renee and then on some of the pages I've just started collaging so I know that there's gonna be people that think how do you write on a book that's got collaged pages like this well I intend to just write so on all the white spaces I'll just write in between I'll write over the top of this or down the side or or if I wanted to I could add in other pieces of paper with my journaling on top but I do just intend to write over every little blank space and spot that I can find in here I just attached an envelope here underneath and then this was just some packaging from some stickers and I, I've used a lot of stickers in here as well and also once I finished binding it I went in with washi tape and I added added dad to dad I added more and more things so this was out of an old photo album attached it in with washi tape so you can journal on the back of that if I want to and then this was a page that didn't make it into my guest book because it was too chunky so I just attached it onto a book page here and it folds all the way out and then it's an envelope and then I've just added more stickers and stuff as well so I've just been adding and adding as I said since I put this book together this is a little piece of the envelope with a window pocket and I just tucked something in there that I can journal on and then there's this book paper that's so cute that girl at the zoo then I've added to this ledger paper just some stickers and some fabric and just collaging so this is out of a book that I've been hoarding um, so I just stuck it on to the top there so that I can write underneath it and then over here this is a little pocket that had something in it that I got sent in happy mail from Marge thank you Marge and I just recycled it into this book with washi tape lay it up with some doilies scrap paper and stickers again this is actually watercolor paper here and again I just collaged all over it so if you're wondering how I use this page I'll just write directly over the top of pretty much all of what's on there so if the patterns aren't too crazy this is probably a bit crazy but if the patterns aren't too crazy I'll tend to just write straight over the top and that's fine so this is super cute little cat um, postcard thing that you seal up I think Marge sent me that one as well thank you and then I just attached a little envelope onto the back of that then I've got this beautiful bird paper that I've been hoarding. It was also out of the same book as this one. There's quite a few birds in this book. This page I did some more collaging. This ephemera is from an Etsy shop called Feed the Birdies. I uh, actually was a design team member for her for a couple of months and I shared a couple of projects I did with her ephemera on Instagram. Um, check out her Etsy shop because she has some awesome ephemera as well. And then here I attached in this page with washi tape again. So there's lots and lots of fold outs and things that have been added after I bound it. Again, just with washi tape. So it's just gotten fatter and fatter and fatter. But I don't think it's going to get very much fatter because I only really intend to write in here. So this is a packaging pocket and I just washing it down and then behind it there's some wrapping paper and this is just a little flashcard that I tucked in there so there's another birdie and then on the back of that is the back of that cute little cat paper postcard thing and some more stickers more fabric more dyes and washi tape I added a lot of little gorgeous pattern envelopes in here that I've been hoarding again so this is one of them and I, this one didn't fit in my guest book because it was too wide 
but I just put a, a big playing card in there for now. Then I've got more ledger paper with collaging stickers, another envelope here that I wa wash it in, and then another flashcard here that's been washed. So opens out. Again, if you're wondering how you would use this page, I'm just going to write straight onto the paper. I'll write, I'm just going to write all over it. I'm just going to go crazy with writing. So I've just done some more collaging with book pages. This is another page that didn't make it into my guest book. So I've just got an envelope here with some writing paper and then it flips over as well. So there's all this room to work with. And then this is also a pocket. So this is the cutest little card that Marge sent me. Thank you, Marge. And I've just got that tucked in there because I love it. So I probably journal directly inside that card as well. Then more ledger paper, book pages. This is scrapbook paper. And then this is a really cute little book book page that I've just attached to the top so I can flip it open and journal under here so more collaging and then more stickers and stuff and then another pattern envelope this one's got some scrap this is actually scrapbook paper this one folds out I love this one because it came colored in Renee sent me this one as well and it's so cute but yeah I love that it's been colored in by someone and then this is an envelope I've had probably for like 10 years it's just like an old birthday card someone gave me my friends and my family call me Yoi if you guys don't know that so no one I really know in real life calls me Johanna but they call me Yoi so I've got that in there this is scrapbook paper and then I'm, there's a pocket on the back. This was another bit of paper that didn't make it into the guest book. This is a book page as well that I just glued on. I thought this would be really cute with a photo over the writing here. Like a, it would make a cute frame. So another envelope here with some scrap paper to write on. And then this is actually a folder, just a notes folder that Marge sent me. And it had envelopes and and uh, writing paper, like note paper and stuff in there, envelope seals and stuff. It was like a little kit. It was so cute, but I decided to use the cover of it in here as well because it had this really cool sturdy pocket, and I can write I can write directly on it as well. I think when I get sent things. It helps if I use like one of each thing in my own personal journals because then I don't feel like I have to hoard the rest of it because otherwise I feel like I'm never going to see it again if I use it so I just end up hoarding things. Um, so more collaging, more stickers, more fold outs. It's so cute. This paper is so cute. This is from that same book with the birds. Another beautiful illustration there. I just washed it in after. And then I just did some layering with doilies and stuff. And this folds out this way. It's another envelope. So lots of writing room there. And inside the envelope, this is actually a page that didn't make it into the guest book as well. So I had to take that out. And then this is from a magazine that I had. So I ended up just slipping there. I can write on the back of it. Scrapbook paper, just scraps of paper that I had from my drawer just stapled and attached on to add extra interest to the pages another envelope page there I love recycling envelopes I get like from my from my birthday when I get cards from my grandparents and stuff just it's like keep, just keeping a little piece of their handwriting I think that's really cool this is a book page and then these are two different book pages. I love this one. I think it's out of the same bird book, but it's just made a little pocket there. So really awesome ledger paper that I was gifted. And then another page here that didn't make it into my guest book. Had to take it out. This is an old envelope I've had for a long time with the window pocket. So put that in there as well. So it's cool how you can 
see through there. I love that idea. And then I just put some stickers and stuff. On the back, just glued uh, a die cut. And then this is a gorgeous envelope. This one's also from Feed the Birdies. So she has an Etsy shop if you want to check her out. And then on the back, this was something I found in an op shop. It was an, a pack of envelopes. And this was just like the cover of it. And I just glued some ledger paper over where it said like 15 envelopes or whatever it said. Because it was a nice weight, card weight there. And I just tipped it in as an extra page. And gorgeous book pages again. This one is watercolor paper. And I made it like a little, reminds me of like doors or something. But it's just like a little fold out. And then I just collaged some old vintage I think they, this one's from a magazine and possibly this one too so so awesome I think Renee sent me that one as well thank you Renee thank you Renee and Marge shout out to those ladies that have gifted me a lot of beautiful ephemera I've literally been hoarding the ephemera for so long so this again I think is from the same magazine and then this is a little pocket I made with an old envelope. Just stuck a die on there and then tucked another one of these beautiful cards with the sewing from Marge in there. This is a, a half of an envelope, so it opens here. So you can put things inside if you wanted to. And then this is just stickers and more stickers. This bit of... Ephemera is from Feed the Birdies Etsy shop, which I'll link below, and it just opens out at the bottom. I don't have to glue down on either side of it. I can see, I can see it in all its beauty, but I can still make use of it and write behind it. So then I've just got more layering on the the back of the envelope with a doily, more collaging with scraps, and then I think. I made a pocket here with a piece of a book page that I had. This is a page that didn't make it into my guest book again. Such beautiful, beautiful paper. And so is this actually, this one. This one was going to be in the guest book. And I, I stuck this cool paper on there because I just loved it so much. On the back side, you can see the back. It had this little cat along the top above all the writing so I stuck it on so that you can see both illustrations. Really just more of the same stuff so more book pages, die cuts, lots of fold out pockets and flaps and um, like tipped in things, just lots of recycled things in here. So this is a book page again with the cat and it's actually open at the top so you can tuck something inside it. It is from an old magazine, like a mother, I don't remember what magazine it was called, but I think Renee sent me that one as well, and I just stuck a, uh, a die cut on there. I made this book page envelope ages ago, I just had one left over from something, I think from some, um, some baby shower invitations that I made, so I had one of those left over. And I just tucked it in here. Here I've just done more collaging with the doily and the stamps. And then this page opens up this way. Absolutely love this paper that I got recently. So that opens out. And then this is from a pattern instructions. Again, opens out so you can write underneath it. I'll also probably write on top of it. So got more ledger paper, more fabric, scraps, more beautiful book paper that I've been hoarding forever. It's just so pretty with the flowers. This vintage paper is from Marge as well. And then there's some more pages here. There's some more pages here that didn't quite make it into my guest book just because I had to I had to sacrifice some of them. <laughs> so so I put them all into here so they wouldn't go to waste. This is another book page with cats. I really love cats, so that's why I've incorporated so ma so many cat images in here. And then it's open at the top, so I slipped in a bag here, super cute little bag that Chrissy sent me years ago, actually, when I first started my channel. She sent me those bags, so I put one in there. 
And then this is another envelope. I don't know if I've got, oh yeah, I do. Just more scrap paper in there to write on the back of. Ledger paper, wrapping paper, more stickers, washi tape, wrapping paper. This is the back side of the that opening opening up page, and I just stuck some stickers on there as well. And then in here, I've just got some. This is from something that I bought, like photos or something. It had prints. It was just a backing of it, so I tucked that in there. And then I just added some book pages at the back, which is so cute. So this one's got the deers and then the cats. This is a pocket again, the way that I attached it with washi tape. There's nothing in there yet. And then getting to the back now, this beautiful note paper. I had to include some in here because I, I love that paper. Um, so I put that in there and then there's some stickers. The last page, there's just an index card tucked up in that old music paper that I think Renee sent me. So there is, there is my book. I'm so pleased with it. I'm so excited to start writing in it. I've been holding off writing in it just because I wanted to do this flip through first so you could see it bare. But now that I've shared it with you guys, I think I'm just going to really go crazy with writing and, and enjoy that. I think the good thing about this book is that it already looks nice to me, so I won't feel the need to decorate. I won't need to carry around lots of stuff. I can take it with me wherever and just take a pen, and that's all I'll need to really work in here. So I love that aspect of it. So that's my flip through. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, please just leave me a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Bye.